all right this is going to be a really quick short video on how to strip your Australian Terrier these are the items that I use that work well for grooming my dogs um, I am NOT by any means an expert but I will give you some of the basics on how to groom your Australian Terrier so this is Beckham here he is three years old and he is a blue tan and what I first um, do is I brush through them with a comb and get off kind of some of the loose hair and make sure there isn't any snarls and I do that on their furnishings the top line and underneath of course on his head and muzzle and um, so just a basic brushing or combing is what I is what I do at first um, then the process you can either use a stripping knife like this it's a really inexpensive basic tool um, or this based on basically what your hand feels comfortable with or what people are asking about is the um, the stripping stone and this is what the stripping stone that I use looks like um, basically what I do is I brush the hair forward and the hair that's standing the tallest you just between your your index finger and your thumb just pull the longer hair like this and you can brush it back and see how it lays and again just a little at a time kind of does the trick And again, this is the way I do it. I'm not suggesting that I'm an expert, but it has worked for us. And again, just taking a little bit at a time, you can see that the taller hair, the dead coat, is the tallest. And it comes out really easily. And you can see the dog has no problems with that. Beckham's a good boy anyway. So that's just really how you do it, and you go along the whole top line as such, kind of a little at a time. So that, that's how I strip with a stripping knife. The same would apply if you're using a stripping knife like this. You would keep it level with the coat and just get the top here. So that's, that's what I would do, and I hope that's helpful. Now taking a look at his face, um, you would strip the hair really no different than you would on the back, just like this. Taking a little off at a time. Same would apply with your stripping stone. Good boy. Avoid the, the coarse hairs that are sticking out because those hurt if you pull them. I usually clip those with the scissors. Again, you just pull the hair like this um, and as you can see it just it comes out really easily now under their muzzle I what I do is I brush the hair down and you can either strip it like this with the stone or that's when I use my thinning shears at times and even it out just Put your finger just um, again to keep the line straight you can just you know use the thinning shears this is the type that I use and you're such a good boy and then the ears the ears I trim around the ears with scissors and then you can do the same thing with the stripping stone I'm doing it at kind of a funny angle but you would strip it the way you want the hair to grow so again, it's just a matter of getting comfortable with this tool and um, a little practice and you'll get it. It's really simple to use. It's just just knowing how to do it and, and working with it. So I think that's about it. I hope that's helpful. You're a good boy, Becky.